I was raised by a mother who gave me as much as a broken alcoholic could give. The loss of a child and a divorce severely hindered my mother's ability to love and uh, to show affection. We had a relationship in our house that was, uh, it was built more on fear and respect than it was on love, but that was all that she had to give. I hit the streets at an early age and uh, gangs became my reality and violence pretty much became the, the solution to every problem. I focused on uh, selling drugs and I introduced meth to a lot of people and I destroyed a lot of households and a lot of lives. When I was 25, my mother died and I, I lost what little compassion I had left on people and I walked away from family, friends, job, etc. I lived on the streets for four years. Every day was a race to just outsmart law enforcement and uh, make a dollar. Armed robbery and uh, debt collecting was how I fed the addiction that the, the gang life created. I knew my number was coming up soon and I was getting uh, dangerously close to prison and or death. So at 29, I, I managed to get myself on a Greyhound headed towards Memphis. After three months, I was getting restless and uh, life was getting slow, so I was debating going back to Texas, back to everything that I knew. So I got a phone call from an ex. She told me she was putting our child up for adoption. So uh, I got back to Texas in time to see my daughter born. Uh, I named her Bane, and uh, my world was changed forever. When I saw that little girl, I knew I had to bury my old life, and I started living that day. Bain and I started our lives together in Memphis, and my sister convinced me to try High Point Church. I was overwhelmed when I first got into High Point with the energy and the, the simple fact that I was welcome there. After a few minutes, I pretty much bolted for the door to catch my breath, and uh, when I came back in, all I could do was sit down and cry. And that was pretty much like therapy for me. I attended High Point for several years. I, I kept my head down, tried to be invisible, and uh, I fed off that energy in there for a long time. Selfishly. <laughs> so one day during a service, God pretty much told me, don't you think it's time to stop taking and start giving? So uh, as the basket came around, I signed up to, uh, to serve that day. And uh, as soon as the basket left me, I almost jumped over the person next to me to get that paper out of that basket. So uh, that was a hard day for me. A few weeks later, I found myself in a classroom full of two-year-olds, and I, I didn't know what to do or how to do it, so I kind of stood in the middle of that classroom. It was very awkward, and uh, a little boy named Cooper came up to me, showed me what he was playing with, and from that day on, that boy has been next to me every time I serve. That day, Cooper gave me exactly what I needed to move forward. Because if he hadn't have done that, I may not have come back the next time. To this day, I still believe I get more out of serving those kids than I, than I could ever give them. And uh, it's what I look forward to every Sunday. Little did I know, working back there with Cooper and the rest of the kids, that the woman I was serving with for three, four years would ever become my wife. But that's exactly what happened on December 22nd of 2012. I think some people would consider Cooper an underdog, and I think people would consider me an underdog from where I came from. God can use an underdog to pull out an underdog, and, uh, turning into something amazing. With God's grace and mercy, I think anything is possible. Wow. I, th this is the end of 20 years of prayer by a team in Texas, by people here. But especially, it's really a credit to Almighty God, His mercy, His love and how he uses people and staff to change lives. I want to offer just one thought, and that would be that
when, when Jesus was teaching the Sermon on the Mount, he talked about a bunch of people and a bunch of things that we want, the things we chase, how we want a home and a, and a roof and some clothes. But in the end, he said that in, in Matthew verse, uh, chapter 6, verse 31, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added to you. He is true. He is faithful. So it is with great pleasure that I baptize you, my son, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.